Blessed is our God, who is now and ever and the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the comfort of the Spirit of truth, everywhere present and in all things, treasure, blessings, the giver of life, come divide in us, cleanse us from impurity. And of thy goodness save our souls. Holy God, holy mighty, holy water of mercy in us. Holy God, holy mighty, <coughs> holy water of mercy in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy water of mercy in us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O holy Trinity, have mercy in us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins, master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, this is in here our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down before, before God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. The Lord hear thee in the name of affliction, the name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Let him serve unto thee help from his sanctuary and out of Zion let him help thee. Let him remember every of thine and thy whole burnt offering let him fatten. The Lord grant thee according to thy heart and fulfill all thy purposes. We will rejoice in thy salvation and in, and in the name of the Lord our God shall we be magnified. The Lord fulfill all thy requests. Now have I known that the Lord hath saved his anointed one. He will hearken unto him out of his holy heaven. The mighty deeds is the salvation of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will call upon the name of the Lord our God. They have been fettered and have fallen, but we are risen and ashes upright. O Lord, save the king and hearken unto us in the day when we call upon us. O Lord, in thy strength, the king shall be glad, and in thy salvation shall he rejoice exceedingly. The desire of his heart is I granted unto him, and has not denied him the request of his lips. Thou wentest before him with the blessings of goodness. Thou hast set upon his head a crown of precious stone. He asked life of thee, and thou gavest length of day, gave us him length of day, and his wages of ages. Great is his glory in thy salvation, glory and majesty shall thou lay upon him. For thou shalt give him blessing for ever and ever. Thou shalt gladden him in joy with thy countenance. For the king hopeth in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High shall he not be shaken. Let thy hand be found on all thine enemies, let thy right hand find all that hate thee. For thou wilt make them as yield for fire in the time of thy presence. The Lord in his wrath will trouble them so the fire shall devour them. Their fruit will thou destroy from the earth and their seed from the sons of men. For they have intended evil against thee. They have devised counsels which they shall not be able to establish. For thou shalt make them turn thy backs among those that are thy men. Thou shalt make ready thy counsels. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in thy strength. You will sing and chant of thy mighty name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, of mercy in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, of mercy in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, of mercy in us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy in us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities, holy God, this is in you, our infirmities, by name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Save all of thy people, and bless thine inheritance, granting to thy people victory of all thy enemies, and by the power of thy cross, preserving my the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Do thou for thy own good will was lifted up upon the cross of Christ our God. Bestow thy bounties upon the new nation which is called by thy name. Make glad in thy might those who lawfully govern, that with them we may be led to victory over our adversaries, having in thy aid a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O champion dread, who cannot be put to confusion, despise not our petitions, O good and all praise there at our cross. Establish the way of the Orthodox, save those who have been called upon to govern us, leading us to that victory which is from heaven. 
Pozalačí vidět bez pana překladného na lesa. Have mercy upon us, God, according to Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Every day, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Every day, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Every day, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Now, heaven and the ages of ages. Amen. Bless Father in the name of the Lord. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life given and divided Trinity, always now and ever and at the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace and goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace and goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest on earth, peace and goodwill toward men. O Lord, open now my lips and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, open now my lips and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me? Many rise up against me. Many say unto my soul, There is no salvation for him in his God. For thou, O Lord, art my help and my glory and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I lay me down and slept. I woke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all who without cause are mine enemies. The teeth of sinners hast thou broken, salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept, I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath. For thine arrows are fastened in me, and thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. There is no healing in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For my in iniquities are risen higher than my head, as a heavy burden have I pressed heavily upon me. My bruises are become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down unto the end all the day long I went with downcast face. For my loins are filled with mocking and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, before thee is all my desire and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength hath failed me in the light of mine eyes, even this is not with me. <coughs> my friends and my neighbours drew night over against me and stood, and my nearest of kin stood afar off. And they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that sought evils for me spake vain things, and craftiness all the day long did they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and was as a speechless man that openeth not his mouth, and I became as a man that heareth not, and that hath in his mouth no reproofs. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord, thou wilt hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never mine enemies rejoice over me. Yea, when my feet were shaken, those men spake, but spake boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. But mine enemies live and are made stronger than I, and they that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slandered me, because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me, be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me, be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn, my soul hath thirsted for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee, and I am barren and untrodden on the mortar. So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than lies, my lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness let my soul be filled, and with what lips rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee, O my bed at the dawn, I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper. In the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath grieved after thee, thy light hath not been quick to help me. But as for these in vain have they sought after my soul, they shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth. They shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword, portions for foxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad in God, everyone shall be praised that sweareth by him. For the mouth of them is stopped that speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper. In the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath grieved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, by day as I cry to my night before thee, let my prayer come before thee, by thy mind, near unto my supplication. For filled with evils is my soul and my life, and to Hades have drawn nigh. I am counted with them that go down into the pit, I am become as a man without help, free among them. Like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. 
They laid me in the lowest pits in darkness and in the shadow of death. Against me, thine anger made strong, and all my billows as thou brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me, they have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up, and have not come forth, mine eyes are growing from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long, I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead will thou work wonders, or shall physicians raise them up, that they may give thanks unto thee. Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy and of thy truth in thy destruction. Nay, shall thy wonders be known in that darkness, and thy righteousness in that darkness is forgotten. But as for me unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul, and turn thy face away from me? A poor man am I in troubles from my youth, yea, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came round about me like water all the day long, they compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me, friend and neighbour, and mine acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, by day have I cried on my night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, by down my near unto my supplication. Bless the Lord of my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee, who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desire with good things, thy youth should be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performeth things of mercy, and executeth judgment for them that are wrong. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, and to the sons of Israel, the thing that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long suffering and plenty in mercy. Not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wroth. Not according to our iniquities hath he dealt with us, neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. But according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them by him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as a father hath compassion upon his sons, so hath the Lord hath compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth for all we are made, he hath remembered that we are dust. As for man his days are as the grasses of flowers, the field so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. For the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom moveth over all. Bless the Lord, are ye his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word, to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, are ye his hosts, his ministers, that do his will. Bless the Lord, are ye his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, of my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, of my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication in thy truth. Hearken unto me in my righteousness, and enter not into judgment for thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified, for the enemy hath persecuted my soul. He hath come up my life down to the earth, he hath sat me in darkness, as those of the one being there. And my spirit within me has become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled, I remember days of old, I meditated on all thy works. I pondered on the creations of thy hands, I stretched forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsted after thee like a waterless lamb, quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn up thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in you life of my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the labour and I should walk, unto thee and I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in a land of uprightness, for thy namesake, O Lord, shall thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shall thou bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shall thou utterly destroy mine enemies. And thou hast put up all them to afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear unto my supplication, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear unto my supplication, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in a land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, God now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. O our God and our hope, glory to thee. In peace let us pray to the Lord of mercy. For peace and love and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord, Lord of mercy. For this holy house and those of faith, reverence and the fear of God enter therein, and let us pray to the Lord, Lord of mercy. For our Father, Metropolitan, Siloam, for the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, the clergy and the people, for let us pray to the Lord, Lord of mercy. For Metropolitan Paul, Archbishop John, for their quick release from captivity, 
and say, pretend that was great as a Lord of mercy. For our Queen, her government for all in civil authority, for her armed forces, that was great to the Lord of mercy. For this monastery, for every city and land, for the faithful who therein, and in the counties of Lincolnshire and Worcestershire, let us pray to the Lord of mercy for health, for seasons, abundance of the fruits, the earth, and for peaceful times. Let us pray to the Lord of mercy for travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick, the suffering, for captives, and their salvation. Let us pray to the Lord of mercy for our deliverance, for tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord of mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, oh, and sorry, that all the pleasure of the saints. Let us commend ourselves, each other, and all our life unto Christ our God. To be Our pure glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, <coughs> now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. My spirit rises early in the morning to you, O God, for your commands are a light upon the earth. Alleluia. Oh, 
I'm sick in my grass and withered is my heart. For I forgot to eat my bread. My reason is the voice of my groaning, my bone of cleaveth to my flesh. I have become like a pelican of the wilderness, I am like an owl in a ruined house. I have watched them like a sparrow that sitteth alone on the housetop. The whole day long my enemies reproached me, and they that praised me made an oath against me. For before the face of my wrath and mine anger I ate ashes like bread, and my drink I mingled with weeping. For after uplifting me thou hast dashed me down. My days like a shadow have declined, and I like grass and withered. But thou, O Lord, forever abideth, and my remembrance is unto generation and generation. Thou shalt rise up and have pity upon Zion. It is time to have compassion on her, yea, the time is come. For thy servants have taken pleasure in her stones, and they shall feel pity for her dust. And the nations shall fear thy name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth thy glory. For the Lord shall build up Zion, and he shall be seen in his glory. He have regarded the prayer of the humble, and have not despised her supplication. Let this be written for another generation, and the people that is being created shall praise the Lord. For he hath looked out from his holy height, the Lord from heaven hath looked upon the earth. To hear the groaning of them that be in fetters, to loose the sons of the slain. To declare in Zion the name of the Lord, and to praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples are gathered together, and the kings to serve the Lord, he answered him in the way of the strength, the fewness of my days declare unto you. Take me not away at the heart of my days, from generations and from generations are thy years. In the beginning, O Lord, thou hast laid the foundation of the earth and the heavens are the works of thy hands. They shall praise, they shall perish, but thou abidest, and like a garment shall grow old. And as a vesture shall thou fold them, and they shall be changed. But thou art the same, and thy years shall not fail. The sons of thy servants shall have their dwelling, and their seed forever shall be thy delight. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he has done for thee. He is gracious unto all thine iniquities, he healeth all thine infirmities. He redeemeth thy life from corruption and thy mercy, and I, and I cry by thee with mercy and compassion. He fulfilleth thy desire with good things, and you shall be renewed with meekness. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy and executeth judgment for them to wrong. He hath made his ways then unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wrong. Not according to our iniquities have he dealt with us. Neither according to our sins have you rewarded us, for according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far have he removed our iniquities from us. Like as the Father hath compassion upon his Son, so hath the Lord hath compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, and he remembers that we are dust. As to man his days are as the grass of the flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testaments, and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, O ye his angels, might and strength that perform his will to hear the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, O ye his hosts, his ministers that do his work. Bless the Lord, O ye his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, the Lord my God, that has been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty has out the time, who covers thyself with light as with a garment. Who stretches out the heaven as it were a curtain, who supporteth the chambers in the waters. Who appointeth the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the winds, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, who establisheth the earth in the shores that of it shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss like a garment is his mantle upon the mountain shall the waters stand. At thy rebuke they will flee, the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up and the plains sink down unto the place where thou hast established them. Thou appointest a vow that they shall not pass down and return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys between the mountains where the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field, the wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heaven wash from the midst of the rocks where they be forest. He watereth the mountains from his chambers, the earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the castle and green herb for the service of men, to bring forth bread out of the earth, and wine maketh glad the heart of man, to make his face cheerful with oil and bread strengthen upon his heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the seeds of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nest, the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hairs. He hath made the moon for seasons, the sun milk is going down. Thou appointest the darkness, and there is a night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad. Young lions roaring after their prey, and seeking their food from God. 
or summarize with my heart, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in their dens. But man shall go forth into his work, into his labor until the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation. So is his grace and spacious sea, there are the things creeping and immovable, small living creatures that with the great. There go the ships, there this dragon whom thou hast made to play therein. All things wait to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it, then they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto thy dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages, the Lord will rejoice in his works. Who looketh on the earth, and maketh it tremble, he toucheth the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life, I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. All that sinners will cease from the earth, and they that work iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord of my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, O thou and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, O thou and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. But give thanks unto the Lord and call upon his name. Declare among the nations his words. Sing unto him and chant unto him. Tell forth all his wonders. Glory in his holy name. Let the heart of them be glad that seek the Lord. Seek ye the Lord and be strengthened. Seek ye his face at all times. Remember his wonders which he has wrought, his marvels and the judgments of his mouth. Ye that are the seed of Abraham, his servants, and sons of Jacob, his chosen. He is the Lord our God, and all the earth are his judgments. He hath remembered his covenant unto eternity, the word which he commanded unto a thousand generations, which he made to Abraham and his oath to, to Isaac. And he established it to Jacob for an ordinance, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying, Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the portions of your inheritance. For they were few in number, very few, and sojourners therein. And they went from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another people. He allowed no man to wrong them, and to free kings for their sake, saying, Touch not my anointed ones, and for my prophets do no evil. And he called a famine upon the land, and he broke off the staff of bread. He sent a man before them, Joseph was sold as a slave. They humbled his feet with fetters, his life was spent in irons, until his word came to pass. The, or the oracle of the Lord proved him. The king sent and loosed him, even the ruler of the people, and released him. He made him lord over his house and ruler over his substance, to instruct his princes as himself, and to teach his elders wisdom. And Israel went into Egypt, and Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham. And he increased his people greatly, and made them stronger than their enemies. He turned their heart to hate his people, to deal craftily with his servants. He sent forth Moses, his servant, Aaron, whom he had chosen for himself. He set in them the words of his signs, and of his marvels in the land of Ham. He sent forth darkness, and made it dark, for they were embittered against his words. He turned their waters into blood, and he slew their fish. Their land teemed with fog, frogs, even unto the secret chambers of their kings. He spoke, and a dog fly came, <coughs> and that's in all their borders. He gave them hail for rain, flaming fire in their land. And he smote their vines and their fig trees, and broke every tree of their border. He spoke, and the locust came, and the caterpillar, and that without number, and devoured all the grass in their land, and devoured all the fruit of their land. And he smote every firstborn of their land, the firstlings of all their labor. And he led them out with silver and gold, and there was not amongst their tribes one man that was feeble. Egypt was glad when they departed, for fear of them had fallen among them. He spread out a cloud for a shelter for them, and a fire to give them light by night. They made request, and the quail came, and with the bread of heaven he filled them. He prayed for the rock, and the waters flowed, and water of places with its ran. For he remembered his holy word, which he spoke unto Abraham his servant. And he led forth his people with rejoicing, and his chosen ones with gladness. And he gave unto them the lands of the heathen, and the labors of peoples they inherited that they might keep his statues and might seek after his law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. To our God and our God, glory to thee. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy. According to remembrance, our all holy, immaculate, most holy, faith, our God, and of the Virgin Mary, and all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other, and all our life unto Christ our Lord. To thee, O Lord. 
for thine is the majesty and thine is the kingdom and the, power and the glory for the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. The heart that came to you, O Lord of humanity, she pour perfume and tears over your feet, O Lord. At your command she was absorbed from the stench of her sin. For these Judas on the other hand, still exalting the sense of grace, the ungratefully rejected it and disfigured himself with mud. For oh, he betrayed you for the love of money. Glory to your compassion of Christ. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. The heart that came to you, who love humanity, she pour, she pour perfume and tears over your feet, O oh Lord. At your command she was absorbed from the stench of her sin. For these Judas on the other hand, still exhaling the scent of grace, ungratefully rejected it. And this figured himself with mud. For he betrayed you for the love of money. Glory to your compassion, O Christ. I will give thanks unto the Lord for his good, for his mercy endureth forever. Who shall tell of the mighty acts of the Lord? Who shall make all his praises to be heard? Blessed are they that keep his judgment and do righteousness at all times. Remember us, O Lord, in my favour for thy people. Busy us with thy salvation, that we may see it in the goodness of thy chosen, that we may be glad in the gladness of thy nation, that we may glory with thine inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers, we have done iniquity, and we have done unrighteousness. Our fathers in Egypt understood not thy wonders, and they remembered not the multitude of thy mercy. And they embittered thee as they went up by the Red Sea. And he saved them from his name, for his name's sake, that he might make known his mighty power. And he rebuked the Red Sea, and it was dried up. And he led them into the deepest in a wilderness. And he saved them from the hand of them that hated them, and redeemed them from the hand of enemies. The waters covered their oppressors, not one of them was left. And they believed his word, and they sang his praise. They made haste, they forgot his words. They awaited not his counsel. And they desired a desire in the wilderness, and made trial of God in the waterless place. And he gave them their request, and sent forth fullness to into their souls. And they provoked Moses in the camp and air in the holy one of the Lord. The earth opened and swallowed up Dathan and covered over, covered over the congregation of Avion. And a fire was kindled in their congregation, a flame burned up the sinners. And they made a calf in Horeb and they worshipped the graven thing. And they changed his glory into the likeness of a calf that eateth grass. And they forgot God who hath saved them, who hath done great things in Egypt, wonders in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. And he said that he would destroy, that he would destroy them, had not Moses his chosen stood in the breach before him to turn away his wrath, lest he should destroy them. And they set up not the desirable land, they believed not his word. <coughs> and they murmured in their tents, they hearkened not to the voice of the Lord. And he lifted up his hand against them to cast them down in the wilderness, to cast down their seed among the nations and to scatter them in the lands. And they were made initiates of Baal Thigor, and ate the sacrifices of the dead. And they provoked him with their inventions, and the destruction was multiplied among them. And Phineas stood up and made appeasement, and the plague abated. And it was counted unto him for righteousness, unto generation and generation forevermore. And they provoked him in the water of Gain, saying, And Moses suffered hurt for their sake, till they embittered his spirit, and he gave judgment with his lips. They did not destroy the heathen concerning which the Lord had spoken to them. They mingled among the nations and learned their works. And they served their graven things, and it became for them a stumbling block. And they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto demons. And they poured out innocent blood for the blood of their sons and daughters, and they sacrificed to the graven things of Canaan. And the land was defiled with the blood of murder, and it was defiled with, the works, with their works. And they went to whoring with their own inventions. And with anger was the Lord wroth against his people, and he abhorred his inheritance. And he gave them into the hands of enemies, and they that hated them were lords over them. And their enemies afflicted them, and they were humbled over their heads. Many times he delivered them, but they embittered him with their counsel, and they were humbled in their iniquities. And the Lord saw when they were in affliction, and he hearkened unto their supplication. 
and he remembered his covenant and repented according to the multitude of his mercy. And he caused them to be pitied in the sight of all that had taken them captive. Save us, O Lord, our God, and gather us from among the nations, that we may confess thy holy name, that we may glory in thy praise. Blessed is the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting, and all the people shall say, so be it, so be it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. <coughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. So let them say that have been redeemed by the Lord, whom he hath redeemed from the hands of the enemy. From the lands that he gathered them, from the, from the east, from the west, from the north, and from the sea. They wandered in the wilderness in a waterless land. They found not the path to a city of habitation. Hungering and thirsting, their soul within them fainted. And they cried unto the Lord in their affliction, and out of their distresses he delivered them. He guided them in the right way that they might go to a city for habitation. Let them give thanks unto the Lord for his mercies and for his wondrous works for the sons of men. He satisfied the empty soul and the hungry, and the hungry soul had he filled with good things. As for them that sit in darkness and the shadow of death, that is with beggary and iron, because they were embittered against the sayings of God and provoked the counsel of the Most High. Yea, with labours was their heart brought low, they waxed feeble, and there was none to help. And they cried unto the Lord in their affliction, and out of their distresses he saved them. And he brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and their bonds he broke asunder. Let them give thanks unto the Lord for his mercies and for his wondrous works for the sons of men. He shattered the gates of brass and broke the bars of iron. He helped them out of the way of their lawlessness, on account of their iniquities that they had been brought low. All who did their soul abhor, and they drew nigh even into the gates of death. And they cried unto the Lord in their affliction, and out of their distresses he saved them. He sent forth his word, and he healed them, and he delivered them from their corruption. Let them give thanks unto the Lord for his mercies and for his wondrous works for the sons of men. And let them sacrifice to him a sacrifice of praise, and let them proclaim his works with rejoicing. They that go down to the, the sea in ships, doing their work in many waters. These have seen the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. He spoke, and the wind of tempest arose, and the waves thereof were lifted up. The mount as high as the heavens, and they go down into the abysses. Their soul was melted with evil. They were troubled, and they reeled like one drunken, and all their wisdom was swallowed up. And they cried unto the Lord in their affliction, and out of their distresses he brought them. And he commanded the tempest, and it was calmed into a breeze, and the waves thereof fell silent. And they were glad because they were quiet, and he guided them to, he to the haven of his will. Let them give thanks unto the Lord for his mercy and for his wondrous works for the sons of men. Let them exalt him in the assembly of the people, and in the seat of the elders let them praise him. He turned rivers into a wilderness, and the, foot, and the cursings of waters into a thirsting land, a fruitful land into saltiness for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. He turned the wilderness into pools of water, and the parched land into streams of water. And he made the hungry to dwell therein, and they established cities for habitation, and they sowed fields and planted vineyards, and they made fruits that increased. He blessed them, and they were multiplied greatly, and he diminished not the number of their cattle. And again they became few and were brought low by affliction, evils, and sorrows. Contempt was poured out upon their princes, and he caused them to wander in a land and trodden, where there is no way. And he helped the poor man out of his poverty, and made his kindred like a flock. The upright shall see it, and shall be glad, and all iniquity shall stop its mouth. Who is wise and will keep these things, and will understand the mercies of the Lord? Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Ready is my heart, O God, ready is my heart, I will sing and chant in my glory. Awake, O my glory, awake, O sultry and harp, I myself will awake at dawn. I will confess thee among the peoples, O Lord, I will chant unto thee among the nations. For great above the heavens is thy mercy, and even unto the clouds is thy truth. Be thou exalted above the heavens, O God, and thy glory above all the earth. That thy beloved ones may be delivered, save thou be thy right hand, and hearken unto me. God hath spoken in his sanctuary, I will be exalted, and I will be thy sycamore. And the veil of tabernacles will I measure out. Mine is Galad, and mine is Manasseh, and Ephraim is the protection of my head. Judah is my king, Moab is the cauldron of my hope. Upon Idumea will I stretch out my shoe, the foreign tribes have been subjected unto me. Who will bring me into a fortified city, or who will lead me into Idumea? 
Ma va not so God was found us, and ma va not so God will fall for our forces. Give us help from affliction for vain is the salvation of man. May God be shall work mighty deeds, and he will bring to naught our enemies. O God, my praise do not pass over in silence, while the mouth of the sinner and the mouth of the deceitful man are opened against me. They have spoken against me with a deceitful tongue, with words of hatred that they have encompassed me, and they have warred against me without a cause. In return for my love they have falsely accused me, but as for me I gave myself to prayer. And they repay me evil for good and hatred for my love. Set thou a sinner over him, and let the devil stand up his right hand. When he is judged, let him go forth condemned, and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few, and let his bishop break out another take. Let his children be fatherless, and his wife a widow. Let his children be vagabonds without a dwelling place, and let them beg. Let them be cast out from their ruined dwellings. Let his creditor search out all his substance, and let strangers plunder all his labours. Let there be for him no help, nor anyone to pity his fatherless children. Let his children be given over to utter destruction, in a single generation let his name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before the Lord continually, and let the memory of them perish from off the earth. Because he remembered not to show mercy, and persecuted a man that was poor and a beggar, and one broken in heart that he might slay him. And he loved cursing, and it shall come upon him, and he delighted not in the blessing, and it shall be far from him. And he put on cursing like a garment, and he went in like water into his bowels, and like oil into his bones. Let it be for him like a garment wherewith he is clothed, and like a girdle wherewith continually he is girded. This is the dealing of the Lord with them that slander me, and with them that speak evil things against my soul. But thou, O Lord, O Lord, deal thou with me for thy name's sake, for thy mercy is good. Deliver me for a poor man and a, por am I a pauper, and my heart is troubled within me. Like a shadow when it declineth, am I taken away. I am shaken off as a locust. My knees grow meek through fasting, and my flesh is changed for want of oil. And I am become a reproach unto them, they saw me and wet their heads. Even help me, O Lord, my God, and save me according to thy mercy. Let them know that this is thy hand, and that thou, O Lord, hast wrought it. They will curse and I will bless, and let them that rise up against me be put to shame, for thy servant shall be glad. Let them that slander me be covered with confusion, and let them be covered with shame as with a mantle. I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth, and in the midst of many will I praise him. For he hath stood at the right hand of the poor to save my soul from them that persecute me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, of God, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. O our God and our hope, glory to thee. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy, according to remembrance, our all holy, immaculate, most holy, 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 most and all our life unto Christ our God. To be all. Now to good God, now this mankind and his great glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I am in love with the love of money, money scheming Judas the name. Deceptively premeditated his betrayal of you, a treasure of life alone. Thus intoxicated he runs to the Judeans, he speaks to the unlawful, saying, What will you give me? And I shall betray him to you, for you to crucify him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In love with the love of money, scheming Judas, your name. Deceptively premeditated his betrayal of you. The treasure of life, O oh Lord, thus intoxicating, he runs to the Judeans. He speaks to the unlawful, saying, What will you give me? And I shall betray him to you, for you to crucify him. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies the footstool of thy feet. A scepter of power shall the Lord send unto thee out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thy enemies, with thee is dominion in the day of thy power and the splendour of thy saints. From the womb before the morning stars have I begotten thee. The Lord has sworn and will not repent. 
Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord of my right hand has broken kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the nations, he shall fill them with dead bodies. He shall crush the heads of many upon the earth. He shall drink of the brook in the way, therefore shall he lift up his head. I will confess thee, O Lord, with my whole heart, and in the counsel of the upright and in the congregation. Great are the works of the Lord, sought out in all the things that he has worked. Confession and majesty are his work, and his righteousness abideth unto ages of ages. He made a remembrance of his wondrous deeds. Merciful and compassionate is the Lord. He has given food to them that fear him. He will be mindful forever of his covenant. The power of his works have he declared unto his people. That he may give them the inheritance of the nations, the works of his hands are truth and judgment. Faith are all his commandments, confirmed unto ages of ages, made in truth and uprightness. He has sent redemption unto his people. He has enjoined his covenant forever, holy and terrible is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and all they that foster this have a good understanding. His praise abideth unto ages of ages. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, in his commandments shall he greatly delight. His seed shall be mightily upon the earth. <clears throat> Generation of the upright shall, ble shall be blessed. Glory and riches shall be in the house and his righteousness abideth unto ages of ages. There had risen up in darkness a light to the upright. He is merciful and compassionate and righteous. A good man is he that is compassionate and lendeth. He shall order his words judgment, for he shall remain in shape and forever. In everlasting remembrance shall the righteous be. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is ready to hope in the Lord. His heart is established, he shall not be afraid, until he look down upon his enemies. He hath dispersed thee, hath given to the poor. His righteousness abideth unto ages of ages, his horn shall be exalted with glory. The sinner shall see and be angered, he shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the sinner shall perish. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord, O servants. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. High above all the nations is the Lord, above the heavens is his glory. Who is like unto the Lord our God, who dwelleth on the high and looketh down on things that are lowly? In heaven and on the earth, who raiseth up the poor man from the earth, and from the dunghill lifteth up the poor man. That he may seat him with the princes, with the princes of his people, who maketh a barren woman to dwell in a house, and be a mother to rejoice in their children. When Israel went out of Egypt to the house of Jacob from among the barbarous people, Judea became his sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea beheld and fled, Jordan turned back. The mountains skipped like rams, and the hills like rams of flocks. O saith thee, O sea, that thou didst fled, us, and now Jordan that thou, that thou didst turn back. Ye mountains that ye skipped like rams, and ye hills like rams of flocks. At the presence of the Lord the earth was shaken, at the presence of the God of Jacob. Who turneth the rocks into pools of water, and the precipice into fountains of waters. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory, for thy mercy and thy truth. As happy the heathen say, where is their God? But our God is in heaven and on the earth, all things where he hath willed, he hath done. The idols of the nations are silver and gold, and the works of the hands of men. We have a mouth that shall not speak, eyes of they shall not see, ears of they shall not hear, noses of they shall not smell. Hands of they shall not feel, the feet of they shall not walk. They shall make no sound in, no, no sound in their throat. Let those that make them become like unto them, and all they that put their trust in them. The house of Israel hath hoped in the Lord, their helper and defender is he. The house of Aaron hath hoped in the Lord, their helper and defender is he. They that fear the Lord have hoped in the Lord, their helper and defender is he. The Lord, being mindful of us, hath blessed us. He hath blessed the house of Israel, he hath blessed the house of Aaron. He hath blessed them that fear the Lord, the little with the great. The Lord grant you increase to you and your children. Ye are blessed of the Lord, who made heaven and the earth. The heaven of heavens belong, belongeth to the Lord, but the earth he gave to, to the sons of men. Not to the dead shall praise thee, O Lord, nor any to back go down to Hades. But we the living will bless the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. I am filled with love for the Lord, will hear the voice of my supplication. For he hath inclined his ear to me, and in my days will I call upon him. The pangs of death have encompassed me, the perils of Hades have found me. Tribulation and sorrow have I found, and I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, deliver my soul, merciful is the Lord and righteous, and our God hath mercy. The Lord preserveth the infant, I was brought low, and he saved me. Return, O my soul, unto thy rest, for the Lord hath dealt bountifully with me. For he hath delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from sliding. I will be well pleasing before the Lord in the land of the living. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. Lord now and ever and to the age of the ages, amen. I believe, wherefore I spake, I was humbled exceedingly. As for me, I said in my ecstasy, every man is a liar. What shall I render unto the Lord for all that he has rendered unto me? I will take the cup of salvation, I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows unto the Lord will I pay in the presence of all the people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O Lord, I am thy servant, I am thy servant and the son of thy handmaid. Thou hast broken my bonds asunder, I will sacrifice a sacrifice of praise unto thee, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows unto the Lord will I pay in the presence of all the people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in the midst of thee, O Jerusalem. O praise the Lord, O ye nations, praise him, all ye peoples, for he hath made his mercy to prevail over us, and the truth of the Lord abideth forever. O give thanks unto the Lord for his good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the house of Israel now say that he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let all that fear the Lord now say that he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Out of my affliction have I called upon the Lord, and he heard me and brought me into a broad place. The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. The Lord is my helper, and I shall look down upon mine enemies. It is better to trust in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to hope in the Lord than to hope in princes. <coughs> All the nations compass me round about, and by the name of the Lord I warded them off. Surrounding me they compass me, and by the name of the Lord I warded them off. They compass me about like unto bees around the honeycomb, and they burst into flame like a fire among the thorns, and by the name of the Lord I warded them off. I was crushed and overturned that I might fall, and the Lord was quick to help me. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation from the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord has wrought strength. The right hand of the Lord has exalted me. The right hand of the Lord has wrought strength. I shall not die but live. I shall tell of the works of the Lord. With chastisement hath the Lord chastened me. But he has not given me over unto death. Open unto me the gates of righteousness. I will enter therein and give thanks unto the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter in thereat. I will give thanks unto the I will give thanks unto thee, for thou hast heard me, and art become my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected, the same has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvellous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad therein. O Lord, save now and send now prosperity. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. Follow the Lord and have appeared unto us. Ordain a feast with thick boughs, even unto the horn of thy altar. Thou art my God, and I will confess thee. Thou art my God, and I will exalt thee. I will give thanks unto thee, for thou hast heard me, and thou art become my salvation. I will give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. O our God and our hope, glory to thee. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most holy, Lady, and God, and Saint, the Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves to each other, and all our life unto Christ our God. To Blessed is thy name, and glorified is thy kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and <coughs> the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> Amen. The hallowed word unsought, and she ardently wiped dry your undefiled feet, O compassionate Master. With the hem of her head and sigh from the death of her soul and cry, O oh my God, I pray, do not reject or abhor me, but accept me back, O unrepentant, and save me. Only you love humanity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, of now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. 
the hollowed words unsought, and she ardently wiped dry your unifile feet of compassion of master with the hair of her head and sighed from the depths of her soul and cried oh my god i pray do not reject or abhor me what accepts me back who am repentant and save me for only love of humanity let us pray to the Lord. O Lord of mercy. For Holy Atta, our God, and the Ishka, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And that we might be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord. O Lord of mercy. Wisdom, attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee. Let us At that time the crowd that had been with Jesus when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead bore witness. The reason why the crowd went to meet him was that they had heard that he had done this the sign. The Pharisees then said to one another, You see that you can do nothing. Look, the world has gone after him. Now among those who went up to worship at the feast were some Greeks. So these came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, Andrew went with Philip and they told Jesus, and Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone, but if it dies, it bears much fruit. He who loves his life loses it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me, and where I am there shall my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honour him. Now my soul is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. No, for this purpose I have come to this hour. Father, glorify thy name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I'll glorify it again. The crowd standing by heard it and said that it had thundered. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, This voice has come for your sake, not mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the ruler of this world be cast out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all men to myself. He said this to show by what death he was to die. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the Lord that the Christ remains forever. How can you say the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is the Son of Man? Jesus said to them, The light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light. Let the darkness overtake you. He who walks in the darkness does not know where he goes. While you have the light, believe in the light, that you may become sons of light. When Jesus had said this, he departed and hid himself from them. Though he had done so many signs before them, Yet they did not believe in him. It was that the words spoken by the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. Lord, who has believed our report, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? Therefore they could not believe, for Isaiah said again, He has blinded their eyes and hardened their heart, lest they should see with their eyes and understand with their heart, and turn from me to heal them. Isaiah said this because he saw his glory and spoke of him. Nevertheless, many even of the authorities believed in him, but for fear of the Pharisees, they did not confess it, lest they should be put out of the synagogue, for they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God. And Jesus cried out and said, He who believes in me believes not in me, but in him who sent me, and he who sees me sees him who sent me. 
I have come as light into the world, that whoever believes in me may not remain in darkness. If anyone hears my sayings and does not keep them, I do not judge him. For I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. He who rejects me and does not receive my sayings has a judge. The word that I have spoken will be his judge on the last day, for I have not spoken on my own authority. The Father who sent me has himself given me commandment, what to say and what to speak, and I know that his commandment is eternal life. What I say, therefore, I say, as the Father has been in me. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee, O Lord. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity, my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in my words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou art not true. The hidden and secret things of thy wisdom as thou made manifest unto me. And I shall sprinkle me with his up, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness, the bones that be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness, O Lord. Thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I had given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humbled, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness and oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. O God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassions. Exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies. Through the intercessions of all immaculate Lady Theodorcus and ever Virgin Mary, by the might of the precious and life giving cross, by the protection of the honourable body of the spouse of heaven, and the supplications of the honourable glorious prophet Paul Ran and Baptist John, of the holy glorious of Lord of Apostles Peter and Paul, and all the holy apostles, who are fathers among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, John Chrysostom, Athanasius Cohen, John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Myra, Spiridon of Trimethus, and Achaius Pentapolis, the wonder workers, or the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George of Trimera, Demetrius the Merce Dreamer, Theodore the Soldier, Theodore the General, Minas the wonder worker, or the harder martyrs, Ignatius the Lord Bearer of Antioch, Adelambos, Eleftherios, the holy, glorious, great women, <coughs> Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fatini, Marina, Palestidi, and Irini, or the holy, glorious, right, victorious martyrs, my venerable and God bearing fathers shone in the ascetic life, my holy fathers Anthony and Cuthbert, patrons and protectors of this holy monastery, or the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, or the holy martyr Basilia and the holy martyr Anastasia of Rome, or Padron of Wales, or the martyr Crescent of Nicaea, or the holy martyr Leonidas of Athens, whose memories we keep today, and of all the saints. We beseech thee, O merciful Lord, hearken unto the petitions of our sinners, who make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have 
mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. and compassions of love for mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou blessed, together with thine all-holy and good and life-giving Spirit, <coughs> now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, 
Let thy praise, Lord of mercy, according to remembrance, are all holy immaculate. Most holy God, O God, behold us and the virgin Mary of all saints. Let us commend mm. ourselves, each other, and all our life unto Christ our Lord. To be your Lord. For thou art the King of kings, the Saviour of our souls, and unto thee is mm. glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. All <coughs> of the harlots have I transgressed, and yet the torrents of tears have I offered you, O God, one. But praying in silence, I fall before you, and with longing I kiss your immaculate feet. So that you as master who grant forgiveness of transgresses to me, who cry out to you as Saviour, from the mire of my sinful burden, deliver me. The woman once prodigal suddenly appeared restrained, hating the words of shameful sins and physical pleasures, and reflecting on the great shame and punishments to which harlots and prodigals will be condemned. I myself am first among them. And I am afraid, yet I persist in my bad habit, mindless that I am. The harlot on the other hand was afraid and hastened quickly, and came crying to you, the Redeemer of compassion, of Lord, who loves mankind, from the mire of my sinful burden, deliver me. The Synaxarium. On the 15th of April, we commemorate the Holy Mother Crescens of Myra and Lucia. On this day, we also commemorate the Holy Women Martyrs, Basilisa and Anastasia. On this day, we also commemorate our Father among the saints, Leonidas, Bishop of Athens. On this day we also commemorate the holy martyrs Theodore the Presbyter and Paphsalopios. On Great and Holy Wednesday, as the Most Divine Fathers ordained, we commemorate the harlot who anointed the Lord's feet with fragrant ointment, since this occurred shortly before the saving passion. With ointment, the woman anointed the body of Christ in advance of the aloes of Nicodemus. O Christ our God, who, who were, O Christ God, who were anointed with a spiritual ointment, free us from the influent passions and have mercy on us, for only you are holy and love mankind. Amen. <clears throat> oh, when the decree of the tyrant prevailed of all, the fiery furnace was heated severely. Seven for strength, the three servants did not burn therein, when they defied the king's pronouncement. But they cried out and sang, O oh, you words of the Lord, sing a hymn to the Lord, and exalt him beyond measure and unto all the ages. Glory to you, our God, Lord. When the decree of the tyrant prevailed of all, the fiery furnace was seated seven for strength. The three servants did not burn therein when they defiled the king's pronouncement. But they cried out and sing, O ye words of the Lord, sing a hymn to the Lord, and exalt him beyond measure unto all the Glory to you, our God, glory to you. The women poured, the woman poured out the very costly fragrance of oil. Ah, on your divine and war inspiring head, O oh Lord, O oh Christ, he said, O oh God, your immaculate, holy feet where the undefiled in sin. And she cried out and sang, O oh, ye works of the Lord, sing a hymn to the God, and exalt him beyond measure unto all the ages. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. The woman poured out the very costly fragrance of your divine and all inspired head, O oh Lord, O oh Christ, we laid all of your immaculate, 
holy feet were bound to fall in sin, and she cried out and sang the holy words of the Lord, sing a hymn to the Lord, and exalt in me a measure unto all the ages. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. A woman guilty of sins was to make her speed with her tears and she wiped them dry with the hair of her head. For this she did not fail, by, fail to be at all of the sins she committed all her life. But she cried out and sang all ye works of the Lord. Sing a hymn to the Lord, and exalt in me a measure up to all the ages. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> The sacrament of the grateful woman ransom is performed by the Saviour send of love and her own fountain of tears, in which through confession of her many sins she was washed clean and she was not ashamed. But she cried out and sang all ye works of the Lord, sing a hymn to the Lord, and exalt in me your measure unto all the ages. Let us bless the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, praising him and glorifying him to all ages. The sacrament of the grateful woman's ransom is performed by the Saviour and the love and her own heart and of tears in which through confession of her many sins she was washed clean and she was not ashamed while she cried out and sang all ye works of the Lord sing a hymn to the Lord and exalt in the honour unto all the ages we praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord. When the decree of the tyrant prevailed of all, the fiery furnace was heated to seven for spread. The three servants did not burn therein when they defy the king's pronouncement. But they cried out and sang, all ye works of the Lord, sing a hymn to the Lord, and exalt him beyond measure unto all the ages. The mother of God, the mother of light, let us extol in song. Oh, with souls that are pure, let us open unpolluted lips, and come, let us magnify the all immaculate, the most pure Holy Mother of Emmanuel, as to her we offer up intercession to him the song she bore. Spare our souls, O Christ our God, and save us, we pray. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. With souls that are pure, let us open unpolluted lips, and come, let us magnify of the only immaculate one, our most pure, O Holy Mother, Holy Manuel, as to we offer up intercession to him the Son she Spare our souls of Christ our God, and save us, we pray. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Ungrateful, unjealous, did make it Judas prove to be, reckoning the value of the gift we make, befitting God. 
Needed for 
save us. Praise Him with several Praise Him with strings on flute. When the sinful woman offered the fragrant oil, then the disciples made His agreement with the transgressors of the she rejoiced in pouring out the costly oil, and he lost no time in selling it. The priceless one she acknowledged, the master, and he was becoming estranged from the she was emancipated, but Judas became a slave of the enemy. How dreadful was his rashness, how great was her repentance. Grant me this repentance, O Saviour, who suffered for us and saved us. Praise Him with resounding symbols. Praise Him with triumphal symbols. Let everything that breathe praise the Lord. Oh, the wretchedness of Judas. He watched as the harlot was kissing your feet, all the while with God thinking about the kiss of betrayal. Thus she untied her braided hair, he was knotted up in anger, bringing rancid wickedness. Instead of fragrant ointment, for envy does not know where there is profit. Oh, the wretchedness of Judas from his deliverance. to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The sinful woman ran to pure virtues, ointment, costly ointment to anoint her to 
Today Christ is at the house of the Pharisee. of the Lord our God be upon us and prosper for us the works of our hands.
Christ on how accept me up. I am repenting. O Selobi, God of your mercy. <clears throat> Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit of now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> Lord, oh Lord, when the women who had fallen into many sins, received your divinity, she assumed Father, Father, the 
It is a good thing to confess unto the Lord to sing praises in thy name of most high, to declare thy mercy in the morning and thy truth by night. Holy God, holy mighty, <coughs> holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> More than the harlots have I transgressed, and yet no torrents of tears have I offered you, O good one. But pray in his silence I fall before you, and with longing I kiss your immaculate feet, so that you, as master, will grant forgiveness of trespasses to me, and cry out to you, O Saviour, from the mire of my sinful burdens, deliver me. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honourable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without corruption bearest God the Word, true Mother of God, we magnify thee. Blessed Father, in the name of the Lord. Christ above the existing one is blessed always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O heavenly King, uphold our rulers, strengthen the faith, calm the nations, give peace to the world, protect this holy church, well, protect this holy monastery, grant our departed fathers and brethren that they, that they may dwell with, with the righteous and accept us in repentance and confession, for thou art good and lovest mankind. O Lord and Master, my life, take from me the spirit of sloth, and let me in us depart, I will go. Forgive for the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and unblessing. May the Lord and King grant to see my own sins and not judge my brother, for thou bless him for ages of ages. Glory to you, Christ, for her glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Father bless. May he who is going to his voluntary passion for our salvation, Christ the true God, through the intercessions all in the blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, through the prayers of our Holy Father, Anthony and Cuthbert, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, here, Kim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good and loveth mankind, through the prayers of Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Amen.